Aquarius. Aquarius, hello. Welcome back. We're going to get into a general read for you. We're going to do one for the collective. So this may not all resonate with you, but there may be bits and pieces that do. So let's get into your current energy. Okay, you want me to do that? Okay, I'm going to do that. Uh, we have the Judgment, Page of Coins, and the Two of Wands. I get that there's a lesson that you haven't learned that's coming around again for you. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting that three cards came out for the opening, and then three cards to, again, clarify. It's almost like there was a, a choice you failed to make. And maybe somebody else made that for you. Now we have the Five of Swords, the Six of Coins, and the Sun. What melt wagu? Sorry. What felt like a loss is really a gain. Okay. Five of Swords, Six of Coins, and the Sun. So this is interesting. So this is coming back around for you with the Judgment card. So that's interesting. Now, when we look to the desire, I get that with the Queen of Swords being here, you've relied heavily on emotion. And you want to be able to pick and choose who you love, your work, and really be in command of your future. And I really like this for you. It's kind of interesting. With the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Coins, the Ace of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So I really like that desire. Now, this is the interesting part. Okay, we're going through this. You may not believe me. And that's okay. You see those two cards? The Hierophant and the Lovers is the outcome. So this is a major choice in love. Ooh, so wonderful. And it's not even Valentine's Day. So this major choice is something. There's some worry underneath. Big surprise. That's not a surprise. That's not a surprise because we're always... As humans, we're always too worried to screw up love in some way. Because then, for some reason, it makes us unlovable. With this, you may not be sure. Because you're kind of like, mm -hmm, I've been burned before. The Five of Wands, like, okay, you know, I've been burned before. Do I really want this? Four of Cups, Three of Swords. You know, I've been hurt. I'm still hurting. And the Eight of Cups, and I walked away, or they walked away. So, I almost wouldn't be surprised had the Four of Coins showed up at that particular point in time. <laughs> Guess what shows up? Four of Coins. So what's working for you is you're focused on the future. And this is a winning strategy. We see the world here showing up for that. You've been holding back for far too long. And that momentum has stopped. And with stopping that momentum, it takes a lot to get it going again. You can see that with the strength card. And we have the Empress. So to be feeling on top of it all and actually be very comfortable with what is in and around you. Now, oh, the third ace comes out. The th Oy. Um, we have three aces and three threes that have come out. So for those of you that are into the numerology bit, I would suggest you look up those numbers. 111, 
and 333. Now to continue on with your read. The Ace of Swords. Now the Ace of Swords is what you don't see. I'll take that. If you look at this particular Ace of Swords, you see the ball or web. You got to cut through the knots. You got to look at what's holding you back mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Now, and become clear of what you want. Now, the nice thing is, is you become also with the Ace of Swords, this is success. In a reunion, with the Three of Cups that you've been working towards or looking forward to, that may previously have made you feel inadequate. And there's the Two of Swords. Again, some more indecision, much like we were talking earlier about how that indecision has affected you before. How possibly somebody was not really making a decision. They let that decision be made for them. Now, I know all about that because I've done it and it doesn't make it right or wrong. It just depends on where you want to be with things. Because you can't, like, I can't blame myself for a bad decision. Well, you can't blame yourself for a good decision either. So what we see is the last three, last three cards. We have the Magician, the Four of Swords, and the King of Coins. So I see this is with the Magician. You are starting to bring in the things that you desire. Or you're, you've put those, as Abraham Hicks says it, the rockets of desire have gone out. And we have the Four of Swords. This is to create some healing within yourself. To allow yourself to... Oh my God, I can't even say the word. Anyway, that's part of the, part of the concussion issues still. Uh, the Four of Swords, being able to, you know, untie yourself from all the worries to really get your thoughts straight around life and what you want. And then we see the King of Coins. So you're trying to bring this in, in a way that is really beneficial for you. And that stability is something that, oh, okay that you desire as well like to be able to be able to take that time breathe relax heal i don't want to say raise your energy up but that's the word that's coming to my mind we have the tower of the seven of swords high priestess and two of cups your perception is going to change of how this person is it's going to be a little shocking. And with the High Priestess and Two of Cups, it seems like as you go through this, this, this connection is with somebody younger. For some of you, this connection is really with somebody younger. You're, you, for some of you, you're trying to use your intuition around this connection because it seems sort of magical where you're trying to feel their energy constantly. Um, for others of you, this is somebody that's younger. They may not be as mature and wise as you either. Um, but there's no denying that connection. Um, whether it stays or, or goes is up to you and the other person, obviously. We all have free choice. So... Aquarius. That's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.